Hi guys, my name is Connie and today I'll be showing you step-by-step -step tutorial on rotation on hover. So before we get started, first watch this tutorial or this YouTube video on Webflow University because it has more detailed information about the back end and the explanation that I'm not gonna really get into. Um, I'm gonna do more of the step-by-step -step process that they kind of breeze over so I can walk you through it. So this is what it will look like. When you hover over it, there will be movement. Um, I'll also create the highlight. If you watched in the video, they also created a highlight talking about absolute and relative. And I'll also clear up that part if you wish to watch as well. And we'll start from scratch. So give me a moment to reset and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is create the card from scratch. Um, in your navigator, in your navigator, just add a div block. So you can either control E or drag it in. And then I will create the styling. So we're gonna do about, let's say 300 pixels by 200 pixels. And we're gonna change the background color so it could be visible. And I'm gonna increase the radius to about 20. So it looks like a card. All right, so now we have the basis of the card. I'm gonna just leave it. Actually, I'm gonna name it card. You know what it is. And then we're gonna create the triggers or the animation for this card. Oh, before we do that, let's add a little box shadow at the bottom. So it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna increase the distance, blurring, and decrease the opacity just so it stands out a little bit. So we can see the movement a little bit better. You can leave this out if you want. But we're gonna go to triggers, make sure card is selected, select the plus button, mouse ho hover over element, select an action, play mouse animation, hit the plus button. All right, this is gonna be card. And this is where all the animation happens. Perfect. So. We're going to select this plus button, select rotate, because we're going to be rotating the card back and forth. So on X, we are going to move the Y axis. Um, personally, when I was doing the tutorial or walking through his video, five pixels or five degrees did not make much of a um, dramatic transition. So I wasn't able to really see, so I'm gonna increase it to 20 instead. And this card is going to be negative 20. And we can already preview that here, and it's already doing that. It's very static right now because we did not adjust the x-axis. So let's do that. So we're gonna add rotate and do the same thing, but on this axis, so 20 and negative 20. Perfect. So if you have earlier, there's an exclamation mark. Let me back up. If there are exclamation mark and you're having trouble figuring out why, what's going on and what's wrong, um, you can check out my other video that I'll also link description down below and I'll explain why that exclamation mark's there and how you can fix it if you accidentally detour away from this tutorial. Perfect. So let's do a live preview and you can see it's moving already. Ta-da. So now I'm gonna go on to the highlight because I think adding that highlight definitely creates a, a layer over it that might be very helpful in your projects. All right, so let's save that. And under div block four, we are actually going to add another div block. They didn't show this, so I will walk through, through this. So add a div block. And you can add that at the top or bottom, it doesn't really matter. But let's go to the style and we're also going to increase the width by 300, 300 by 200. All right, let's increase that a little bit more so I can show you. All right, so the parent element is going to be the card. So what you wanna do is select card. So we're gonna have the highlight go over the card. So for the card, you want to 
um, actually be on top. The card is going to be position relative and div block eight is going to be absolute. So right now it looks like it is inside, but actually if you see position is connected, it's relative to body two. So if you were to change the position to the top right, it would go all the way up here. So it's not really relative to the card. And that's important later on. Yeah, that's gonna be late, important later on. So we're going to undo that. And we're actually going to nest the card under. And now you can see it's relative to the card. It looks exactly the same, but the difference is that for the card, we can position to overflow to be none. So if we were to add that white background, it won't go over. And I'll show you what I mean. So make sure to have div block eight, or you can change that to highlight. And let's do that now. Highlight. Oh, highlight two, because I was doing the practice. Okay. So we're going to change the background to white. And as you can see, it covers the whole thing, but let's decrease the width so you can see the difference. Perfect. So right now the highlight is on top of the card and that is exactly what we want. Probably not a rectangle. So we are going to change the radius to an absurd number. So it's a circle or a weird old. Perfecto. So we're gonna leave it at that and change the opacity to 10% because this is going to be a highlight. You can see it now. We're going to adjust the blur later on so you can still see how the highlight moves. But as you can see here, the card is at the bottom and the highlight is on top. And the highlight is relative to the card. So if we were to change the position of the card, I mean, of the highlight, it should still be within that card border. And it won't go off below here because we made sure that the parent overflow is hidden. So if it goes over the card, it will not be there. So you won't have like an extra highlight somewhere at the bottom. Okay, so now we got that taken care of. We're going to also animate the highlight. So what you wanna do is select on the card, go to triggers. We're going to select the same one that we just worked on, double click that. And now we're going to add a highlight to this one. We're gonna hit that plus button. It's going to move. And then we're going to move this. All right, um, let me make sure it's on the right one. Okay, so the highlight is going to move 50%. Okay, so make sure you're on your card selected, your highlight too. It's going to move across the x-axis, so this way, by 50%. And then you're gonna just do that for the rest of them. So rotate, no, move. You're going to move, and this is also gonna be negative 50%. Okay, so now your animation panel or timeline panel should look something like this. Highlight is going to move left and right, and then mouse Y is going to go up and down 50%. All right, so it should look something like this. And now we're going to adjust the blur back to, let's see, it's under filters. Increase blur by like 20. Oh, not the card, not bad. You wanna make sure highlight is selected and filter, let's do 10, there you go. And if you preview, it looks something like this. Okay, maybe increase the blurry a little bit more, but you can see it move and the highlight also moves with it. So maybe you can also change the shape of this um, highlight because it's an interesting oval. 
that I would probably change as well. But I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a detailed walkthrough and answered all the questions that you had, because it, those are some of the things that I did run into while I was trying to learn how to do this hover. Um, please let me know if this was helpful or if I missed anything that you got stuck on, then maybe I should clarify next time. So yeah, thank you. Bye. Oh, oh yeah, like and subscribe.